All right, guys, I'm going to talk about competitions, because after all, this is a competition. You want your bot to do well. You want to do well. Um, first thing, when you get there, you're going to put your bot down. You're going to charge your battery and charge your controller. You're then going to go to inspection, get your bot inspected officially. They'll do the weird C thing over it, make sure it's under 18 by 18, and they'll do a few other checks. Um, make sure before you leave for competition that your bot follows the rules. If it doesn't, um, you're not going to be able to compete, or we're going to be bringing out the Dremel and hacking things off the bot, which is not fun. Um, after that, you're going to have a little bit of time before the first competition, or before the first game starts. Um, use that time to either test your Thomas, make sure everything's working properly, or um, go over your bot with a fine tooth comb again and just looking at it um, and making sure that everything's in proper working order. You don't want any surprises on the field. Um, when you go to your match, you're gonna go to the queuing table. You're gonna see there's gonna be a red line. There's gonna be a red table and a blue table. Um, talk to your teammate about the strategy, about what you're gonna do about what your autonomouses do. That way you can line them up so you don't collide during autonomous. Um, talk strategy um, and just be nice. Don't be rude and bashful. You want to respect the fact that they're there to compete as well. Um, if you win the match, great, shake the other person's hand. If you lose the match, great, shake the other people's hands. Um, it shows good sportsmanship and it'll help you in the end. Because in the end, you're either trying to get in the top eight or you're trying to make friends with the top eight so they'll pick you. I'll explain that in a second. Um, they, they're gonna have two mock fields for you to practice on. Um, use them, play around, show off your bot. Show off your bot, show off your bot, show off your bot if you're proud of it. If not, keep it hidden. Um, if you don't think your bot is good, keep it hidden. Um, but at the end of the or at the end of the round robin matches at lunchtime, so they're gonna finish the the matches. You're gonna eat lunch, and then they're gonna pick the teams to start the elimination rounds. So the top eight people are gonna get to choose eight other people, eight other teams to join them as their alliance. Um, so the first person can pick whoever they want. Odds are they'll probably pick the second person. Um, if that happens, the ninth person is going to move up to a spot where they can pick um, their team member. Um, so really, you can be in the top 16 and still be able to pick someone if everyone picks down the line the next person. Um, so you want to be pickable and likable. So. Um, you want your bot to work well consistently, you want your autonomous to work consistently, and you want um, to be a friendly enough teammate that they want to be with you, um, that they want to work with you. You also want to pick, um, if you're not planning on getting top eight, you want to make a bot that has its niche, where my bot does this thing really, really well, and then you want to find someone else that complements your bot, not the exact same bot, but complements it. And my bot does this really well, and together we're gonna to make a really good team because our bots do different things, but towards the same goal. Um, if you know you're not gonna be in those top eight or top nine or 10, because odds are, if you're top 10, you're gonna be picking people. Um, if you're not in those top 10, you wanna be going around to those who are in the top 10 saying, hey, you want to pick me because we can work really well together. We can um, possibly get further in this competition with me instead of anybody else. You want to sell yourself. If your autonomous works 70% of the time, it works 100% of the time, okay? It's okay to oversell. It's what you got to do. You got to get further in the competition. It's a game. You got to play the game the way it's meant to be played. Um, read the rules before you go. Know the rules like the back of your hand. That way, in 
a given circumstance, you can find loopholes and exploit them. Um, but really, though, loop, the game is meant to be played how it's written. If there's a loophole in the written part of the game, it's meant to be there. Um, don't feel bad about using it because other people are going to as well. Um, but what I'm going to talk about now is skills challenge. Skills challenge is super, super important. So you're going to have a driver skills and autonomous skills. You're going to do, at the end of the day, the driver skills and autonomous skills points are going to add together and that's your skills challenge for the day. Um, if you get first place in that, you qualify for states. But the other thing with doing skills challenge is it's officially showing off your bot. Because people, when looking for teams to um, find or teams to pick, which is called scouting, um, will look down the list of the skills challenge and say, hey, they did really well and they're high placed in the um, competition, which means not only do you have a good bot and a good driver, but you also worked well with the other teams that you um, compete or competed with. That looks really, really good, and you're going to have a high chance. That's how we got picked last year. That's also how we got to states last year because I did pretty well at the um, skills challenge. I drove well, and our autonomous got like two points, which shows that you have an autonomous that can do something rather than your bot just sitting there doing nothing. Um, so, yeah, do the skills challenge. Be friendly. Be nice. Be a good sport. Um, win or lose and most of all just enjoy it those other people there are there, enjoy, are there to enjoy it as well and you can find some really cool people there talk about it learn um, if you don't go there with a good bot and you see someone else with a good bot ask them hey do you have any tips for me towards the end of the competition you don't want to look like you're grubbing for information to make your bot better before and beat them but afterwards like hey you did really well what about your bot or what about my bot could would you fix because odds are if they're winning they're spending every single day after school before school they probably worked on it over the summer there are some serious tryhards in this competition um but ask questions people are generally more than happy to talk about their bot and just learn um go there with an open mindset to learn more about how to do this better um, and enjoy it. It's fun if you do it right. Um, it's probably my last video. Sorry it was long, but it's a lot to talk about.